What's up, y'all? This Aunt Glizzy and this Bob of Sun TV. And today we in the building with Seven. This is my first DMV rapper female that I ever interviewed. How you doing, Seven? So tell us a little bit about yourself. Where you from? What made you start making music? What's your first song you ever dropped that made you realize you was a rapper? So far as DMV rap, the DMV rappers, I feel like females don't really get seen that much. Do you do you know why that is? Who your top five DMV female rappers? Yeah, she count. I don't mean to be messy. Shelly the MC ain't make your top five. When it come to DMV rap, Shelly is like a face, like a face of the DMV rap. Pinky the rapper, speaking to her, she just signed a, a record deal to Rock Nation I seen all over the blogs. I don't really know her or heard a song, but I checked into it and I heard some bars. She can really rap. Would you be willing to do a collab with them? Either one of them. I feel like the DMV females, like the guys can't do the collabs. We can't get it right. But as the females, I feel like y'all should be able to get it together like as a whole. Nah, I definitely know, I definitely know how I get. People be having obligations and they make themselves. You know how they go. It's a business thing. I seen a video that you had dropped and you shouted out all the rappers' names in there. Do you really feel like that? It was a kind of catchy song. That's what that's what got my attention. Somebody tagged me the song. I said I'm an interviewer. I didn't I didn't even know that until like I listened to it probably 15 times. I was and I was saying to myself, she didn't say my name. <laughs> Somebody definitely told me you said it. But I got a, I got a character, this guy, this thing inside, man. You don't even gonna know who he is. Nobody know who he is. But he told me something that she was in a fight with a girl named Cuzzo. Cuzzo, somebody named Cuzzo. <laughs> Could you tell us what that was about? Somebody told me it had something to do with blue face baby mother. Krishan doing big things now. Could you explain y'all friendship?
And so what about you still in blue face car? Can we hear the story? If you can work with anybody in the industry, who would it be? Why you say Lil Wayne? That was like, oh, what? Why would you say Lil Wayne? So you team Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? I like them both too. Who you think a better rapper? Gorilla or Young Lotto? If you can sign a deal with any label, like if you could pick the label, what label would it be? Why you say QC? I feel like that's possible though. You, I don't feel like that's not too far to reach. Being that you're a female, how's your process of making a song? Like when you in the studio, how do you put the song together? How do you come up with how you about to create it? I'm going to ask you a personal question. If you had a boyfriend and he went to jail, how long would you hold him down? Like, what's the limit? All right, just say, just say he got, just say he got 10 years. So will you see yourself at in five years from now? You got any mixtapes coming out? Any new songs? Any new videos? That's why you done up like that? What's the name of the song? Who's shooting the video? 
So that's you ain't got no mixtapes coming, no nothing. Why you don't have a mixtape coming? I feel like this. I'm not a label, but I feel like as you build in the fan base. The more content you put out, the more fan base you're going to build. You can't lose. Like, just say you putting out stuff. Just say people just start liking it. Like, you getting more fans. Like, somebody going to like it. You can only get more fans. You can't lose, none. if you feel what I'm saying. So, I feel like you not be Consistency. If you can drop whenever you feel more than the average person, you'll build a fan base on your own. I feel like you holding the music, waiting on it to be perfect and this, that. You're going to wait. You're going to miss your moment. You just got to... It's like a, it's like the lottery. You just got to play it till you hit. You got to play it every day. Like, you just got to do it every day until you hit. So, for all the people that don't know, tell them how to find your social media, where they can find you at. I'm going to make sure this ain't your last interview because I know you can go turn up to a big rapper and I'm going to need you to uh, get my podcast back popping. I appreciate you. I thank you for everything.